Welcome back everyone to today's video. It's OTA time for the Carolina Panthers, and that's what we're diving into. Bryce Young recently praised head coach Dave Canales for his teaching-focused coaching style and constructive feedback. And let me tell you folks, Bryce Young is shining bright. Xavier, their first round draft pick, is also impressing. Watching Bryce connect with Deontay Johnson is a joy. The Panthers had a stellar draft that flew under the radar, especially their focus on strengthening the offensive line. But let's talk about the biggest offseason move, Dave Canales. His presence brings a level of preparedness and expertise that's rare in the league. Remember how he helped Baker Mayfield thrive last year? And let's not forget the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playoff win, thanks in part to Canales' coaching prowess. He's a game changer for the Panthers. So, let's talk about the Carolina Panthers' biggest offseason move, bringing in Dave Canales. Just by watching OTA highlights and catching snippets on Twitter, you can see his impact. I'm really optimistic about the Panthers, although there are some defensive issues that need addressing. But before we dive in, let's do a quick intro. Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's all about the Carolina Panthers and their OTA journey. If you're a Panthers fan, you're in the right place. Smash that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's aim for 100 likes on this video, folks. Now on to some interesting tidbits. Bleacher Report dropped their win-loss projections, placing the Panthers at 31st, just ahead of the Patriots. But hey, don't let that get you down. Here's a snippet for you. The Panthers will finish at the bottom of the standings this season. Prediction, 3 and 14. Now, I don't buy into that entirely. Sure, the Panthers might have lost some key defensive pieces like Brian Burns, but let's be real here. They're not going 3 and 14 unless Bryce Young only plays a handful of games. The win-loss record isn't everything to me. It's about progress and potential, and I believe the Panthers have plenty of both. I think the Panthers made a smart move by bringing in Dave Canales. Now let's address some concerns in the quarterback room. J.C. Horn, although talented, hasn't had much playing time due to injuries. But let's not dwell on that. What really matters is getting our offense and quarterback on the right track. Last year was rough, with no protection, few weapons, and questionable play calling. This year, things are looking up. Even if we just double our wins from last season, hitting six or seven, I'd call it progress. But my target for the Panthers this year, at least seven wins. That would signify a solid comeback. Now on to OTA talk. J.C. Horn is a standout cornerback when he's healthy. Despite only playing 22 out of 51 games, his potential is undeniable. He's focusing on weight training this offseason to stay in peak condition. With his talent, a healthy J.C. Horn could be a game changer for our secondary. Speaking of which, our cornerback depth could use some work. We added Dane Jackson from the Bills, but he's yet to prove himself as a starter. However, if J.C. Horn stays healthy, our secondary should hold up just fine. Now let's shift our focus to the offensive side of things. Keep an eye on Xavier Leggett and J.T. Sanders during OTAs. They could be key players to watch as our offense evolves. I was really hoping the Panthers would pick up a tight end, and they did just that, snagging what I believe is the second best tight end in the NFL draft in the fourth round. But let's talk about Xavier Leggett and Deonte Johnson. From the Twitter videos to the Instagram reels, their connection looks solid. Bryce Young is refining his footwork and mechanics, and with Dave Canales at the helm, I have no doubt he'll be back on track. But let's talk about protection. Last season, it was a nightmare. Bryce Young was constantly under pressure, scrambling for his life on every snap. That's why the acquisitions of Robert Hunt and Damon Lewis are crucial. With solid guards in place and Deontay Johnson as a reliable wide receiver, things are looking up. But let's not overlook Xavier Leggett's versatility. He's a playmaker all over the field, whether it's catching passes, returning kicks, or running a jet sweep. 
He brings a dimension to our offense that was sorely lacking last year. Now on to the wide receiver room. The addition of Deontay Johnson was huge, but we need to keep building. Jonathan Mingo's status is uncertain, and I have a feeling Xavier Leggett might edge him out. With Adam Thielen providing reliability, and Deontay Johnson and Xavier Leggett adding firepower, our wide receiver room has seen a significant upgrade. Xavier Leggett is a force to be reckoned with. Standing at 6'1 and weighing 221 pounds, he's a powerhouse on the field. Plus, with a blazing 4.3 40-yard dash time, he's lightning fast. Fun fact, he hauled in 10 catches on throws of 30-plus air yards last season, tying for the second most in all of FBS. Now let's compare that to the Panthers, who managed just one reception on such throws, the fewest in a season since the Bengals had zero in 2020. Xavier Leggett brings versatility and big playability to our offense. As a South Carolina Gamecock fan, I may be a bit biased, but trust me, he's the real deal. Now let's talk about Jonathan Brooks. I'm excited to see what he brings to the table, and hopefully he'll be ready to hit the ground running by July 1st. But before we wrap up, let's not forget about JT Sanders, the tight end out of Texas we picked up in the fourth round. With 99 catches in three seasons, he's already making waves in Texas college football history. Some are even comparing him to Greg Olson. Bryce Young struggled when targeting tight ends last season, but with JT Sanders in the mix, that could change. Tight ends are crucial for successful NFL teams, and JT Sanders has the potential to be a game changer. It's surprising he fell to the fourth round considering his talent. Stay tuned for more OTA coverage. Before we sign off, let's touch on the draft. If you're enjoying these Panthers videos, don't worry. More are coming your way probably all week. So let me know in the comments, who's your favorite draft pick from Carolina this year? Drop a quick win-loss projection while you're at it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.